OK, in question 2, in the first part for 1 mark, we've got to differentiate a bracket to the power 4. So we've got a simple function inside the bracket. This is an easy case of the chain rule. Then in part B, we're moving on to a question about this particular graph. It talks about the region R, which they've drawn for you, describes it. And we've got to get the exact value. That means the answer has got to be given using square roots or e's or logs or pi's or something. But you must not give a decimal answer. Find the exact value of the volume of revolution when R is rotated through 360 degrees. Don't try and use that 360 degrees. It's just a full rotation, which it always is. So don't be bemused by that. So we've got to get a volume of revolution. So you quote your formula. It's there in your core three notes. V equals is a certain integral. It's got squaring going on. You can use a diagram to help you with the limits. Set up that integral. And when you come to do the integral, I wouldn't be at all surprised if the differentiation you did back here wasn't a hint to that integral. So I wouldn't be surprised if the answer to your integral wasn't a little bit like that. And then, for part C, re-entry point here. OK, this doesn't really relate to anything you've done already, so these four marks you can get even if you've uh, had a disaster so far on the question. Two geometrical transformations that take you from there to there. So you've got to account for the effect of this 2 here and this minus 1 here. And you've got to use all the right words and give the necessary information and get those two transformations in the correct order. But you should have a way from Chapter 1 of Core 3 of remembering which order that is. So look at me Chapter 1 notes.